Hello everyone, welcome back to Close to Be Milkshake. I am your host, along with support puppet, Mr. Chicken. Isn't it too bad that we don't have all matching hats? Yes. Today we are gonna talk about uh, when you are depressed and how I react to your depression. Do you hear my squeaky chair? I need a new one. Now, depression um, or sadness in you is very upsetting. Um, I do not want to feel any shame whatsoever for um, being the cause of it. And I am going to fight everything inside of me to deny that I had anything to do with that shit. I cannot um, connect to what I do to you as it being my fault of causing this reaction. So I will fucking, the downfall of your emotional state in the relationship will be fucking oblivious to me, oblivious. I'm not saying that I don't know that I'm a fucking mean asshole or, you know, dismissive or blame shifty and stuff like that which is an automatic defense but i'm saying i don't know that it's chipping away at your soul that's what i'm saying so i'm going to be looking down because i took some notes so if you are not in a good mood um and it is and you're always fucking sad this is one thing that I want you guys to remember. If you are in a relationship with a narcissistic person and you are, you know, um, wanting to stay with, you know, us, <laughs> you better mask the fuck up and just, you know, be happy to see us or something or just go along doing your fucking, you know, whatever with a fucking smile. I, I always advocate that if you are unhappy in your relationship, please find a way to go. But some of you guys want to stay. And one thing that's going to make me get the fuck out is seeing your sadness, seeing the shame, you know, through your eyes, which is, you know, laser beams of... I'm miserable because I'm with you. All right. One time I was um, in with um, a disposable supply source and um, he was fucking depressed because, you know, I'm married and he wanted to be with me. And every time I fucking talked to him, it wasn't fucking fun no more. He was sad and fucking depressed and shit. He wanted to, you know, one of those uh, codependent type people that, you know, wanted to just envelop me, um, you know, divorce my husband, go fucking live with him, all the, you know, play Susie Homemaker and all this shit. And I'm like, no, man, I'm just using you for fun, you know? And so he was very depressed. And so I got rid of him with a quickness because of his, you know, sadness all right i know i'm fucker i know i know all right i know um <clears throat> there is a double standard with um negative emotions i can have them you do not get to <laughs> you have to walk around being perfect in every fucking way but my mood can you know fluctuate if it wants now i told my ex-husband when i was aware of um mood fluctuations and this is um bizarro too and if there's any cluster bees out here um that can understand this please you know validate my feelings but um my moods would shift more when i was trying to mask up hard for the family Okay, so um, when I was being unauthentic, obviously, and um, just having to be, you know, the parent and, and doing the family thing and for the husband, you know, and shit like that, um, my moods would change, you know, quicker than when I was fucking divorced and had nothing. You know, it was totally fine. Even with my partner now, because I'm trying to be, you know, 
um, a, a healthier individual and understand myself and have a better relationship besides my fuck ups. Um, my moods do not shift like they did when I was fake all the fucking time. So let me know. Um, <clears throat> uh, another thing, um, I don't understand why you can't fake happy for me. I have to fake happy for you. I have to mask up and, you know, do all these things um, to the outside world to make sure that we look good to your family. Um, you know, I have to be the perfect this, that, and everything. You know, this is why it gets so exhausting that I unleash some of my shit on my partner when he wants me to keep masking up when I just want to be silent and quiet and like sit on the couch and just read. To him, I would want to isolate myself way too much. I'm not saying that his feelings aren't valid. It's just from my perspective, I get so tired of masking up all the time that I'm like, I need a break. And because time just fucking just flies and shit when I'm reading a fucking book or just fucking scrolling on social media or whatever or fucking getting my drink on. Um, you know, time is different for him. So, um, yeah. Why can't you mask up for me because I'm doing it all the time? Now, does he fucking know this? No, no. But I'm just telling you what my unaware ass was thinking. All right. Um, then you not telling us, um, you can't, you cannot tell us. Um, what is wrong with the relationship with you and I? You cannot because um, I have conditioned you through either getting upset, blame shifting, um, silent treatment because you're pissing me off and I'm getting anxiety and everything, um, or just um, leaving, you know, just fucking walking out. Or, or um, why are you with me? Why are you with me if I treat you so bad? This is not just um, a dismissive statement. No, I don't want you to fucking go, of course. But this is a real fucking question. Why the fuck are you with me? Because you have this laundry list of um, garbage that you're saying about me. Right? I mean, we're learning through this channel and other places why you stay but you know this is what my unaware ass is asking um but because you cannot tell us how you feel because we do all this shit you become a shell of a fucking person you become a shell of a person and you're becoming depressed my ex-husband was like i'm depressed and i don't know uh, uh, he didn't know fucking why and I'm like, go to the doctor and get a pill. I was so pissed. All right. Um, emotions from others make us feel uncomfortable. Fuck yes. I used to say, get your fucking feelings away from me. Get that yucky shit away from me. You know, I just want you to um, entertain me. I don't want all this heavy shit. Fuck off with that. And definitely fuck off with you having a problem with my ass, right? Um, so I'm either going to say, get the fuck away, or I'm going to give you a quick fix, and um, which is dismissive. Quick fixes are dismissive, y'all. So don't be fucking doing that in my shit, all right? Meditate. Yes, I did that. Jesus, I did that too. All right. There is no fucking quick fix. All right. There are so many things that I've tried to fix this. The only way to take care of this garbage is to understand what the fuck is going on in here so I can be very aware when things arise. Okay. And then to um, not react all the time. I really have to do some detective work on where is this thought coming from? Why do I want to react this way? Is it a childhood trauma response? 
Do you want to cause anxiety in your partner? Do you want to control your partner so you lessen your anxiety? That's not good. Don't do that, okay? Um, also, I feel like your sadness, this goes along with crying, is manipulative to me. A lot of you um, dismissive motherfuckers out there will say, well, it's because you cry. Because you cry for manipulation. I do not cry for manipulation. I think crying is a weakness. I was shit on any time that um, I would show any um, uh, healthy emotion that I would never fucking show it. So when I show it on here, I feel like a fucking um, weak piece of shit. And now I know that that's a healthy response. So now when I see people cry, I don't look at them in disgust anymore. But motherfucker, I used to. I used to be fucking disgusted. And seeing somebody cry, I would think that, um, uh, number one, you're weak. Because, you know, it's like my trauma made me hard and cold. And, and you know, all of my walls are awesome. And yeah. No, it's the opposite, but I did not know that back then. So I would think that you trying to be sad, you crying, it's like, why don't they care when I cry? You know how that sounds? That sounds manipulative. When you go howl in the other room, you want your narcissistic or toxic person to hear you. You want them to come and comfort you, just like you did as a child with your parent. And you probably had toxic parents who did not come to you. And you're trying to fix your childhood through us. And guess what? We're not gonna come. We're not gonna come. We're gonna get mad, all right? I'm glad that I'm learning that, oh God, oh. Um, I do feel a lot, uh, very shitty. I, I can't have um, regret and remorse and fucking, and feel guilt and stuff of things in the past. My brain just doesn't work that way. I'm just like, I can only fix the present moment. That's fucking it. All that other shit I think is, um, it's not helpful to me. I, that's what I feel, you know, it's not fucking helpful. But at least in the present moment, I am changing my shit. But your unaware motherfuckers are not, all right? So um, if you're going to fucking cry, go in the shower in the crying chamber. When motherfucker ain't there, scream in the pillow, all right? Because they're not going, you're not going to get the result that you desire, all right? Okay. I hope that was helpful. Have a great day. Namaste.